Hi friends, I hope you guys are having an awesome second morning of NTI. We just got done with morning meeting again and it is now time for you guys to read. And just like yesterday, we have mission number nine today. You guys did mission number eight today. Yesterday, you worked really hard with your snap words. You worked really hard with thinking about does this word in this book that I'm trying to solve, does this tricky word remind me of a snap word? And remember, we looked at the word play, and we help, we used the word play to help us solve a lot of other words. We also used the word look, and we also used the word can. So that was what you guys did yesterday for mission number eight. You guys thought about your tricky words in your books, and you thought, man, is there a snap word that I can use to help me solve this word? Today, for mission number nine, you are also going to be working with snap words. So I want you to be ready. I want you to be thinking about your snap words. And let's listen to mission number nine from Mr. Bookman. Hello, kids. Welcome back. Yes, indeed, I found my glasses. You'll never believe where. Hmm, where's that you say? Yes, the hen house. It was being used by a lovely hen, and she was reading Interrupting Chicken. Ha! <laughs> ha! On to mission number nine. Land here? Oh, you got... No? Yep. Finesse. Someone told me finesse, so I'm going to take it very delicately, so carefully. Mm, takes a lot of patience. Patience. I don't have... Oh! Oh! Uh, uh. Oh, it's really all right. Aha. Here we go. Mission number nine. Word detectives don't work to solve the same word over and over. No. Once word detectives have figured out a hard word, they work on ways to remember it. Then, when they see the word again, they can read it in a snap. Your teacher will show you how it's done. All right, friends, so you heard Mr. Bookman. We do not solve a word two times. After we solve it the first time, we can turn it into a snap word. So that's what you are going to be doing today, this way. I, I just need to turn around. I can turn new words into snap words. That's what you're going to be doing today. I I can turn new words into snap words. So friends, we're going to be working with some new words and we're going to we're going to turn them into snap words as we read so that we don't have to waste our time and solve them again. And I have something exciting to show you. I found our slow check. So now we know exactly how to be a word detective. Remember that first we notice a problem and stop to solve it. Step number 1, notice a problem and stop to solve it. Step number two, look closely from start to end. Step number three, use everything you know. And step number four, do a slow check. That's how we are a word detective. Yesterday, remember Mr. Meyer just told you that we thought about the snap words in our um, stories and saw, and tried to use those to help us solve our new word to think about what makes sense. And then we also saw some tricky words. So we were thinking about what makes sense with our snap words. And then we also saw some tricky words and we were trying to figure out if those snap words that we know could help us solve our tricky word. Today, you are going to turn new words into snap words and I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, friends, so I'm gonna show you a word that I had in my book today and it really tripped me up. I had to work really hard to solve this word. And I'm going to share with you how I solved this word. So when I saw this word, I was like, oh my goodness, I do not know what this word is. But I did see my ER, which my ER is my hunk and chunk. I know that part. I know ER and ER says er, right? Like flower er at the end of a word. ER says er. So then I looked at these other sounds that I had left and I went, Aft, aft, er. And when I put those two sounds together, I got after. 
Now this word came up in my book a bunch of times. Do you think I stopped to solve it every time? Absolutely not. After I solved it the first time, I remembered what that word was. And I did that by spelling it, reading it, and writing it. So this is exactly what Mr. Omar did. Mr. Omar said, okay, now that I know this word, after, I'm going to spell it. A-F-T-E-R, after. And I did it three times, so do it with me. A-F-T-E-R, after. A-F-T-E-R, after. A-F-T-E-R, after. And I read this sentence, I read the sentence three times too, so that I could read this word and understand this word. And then the last thing that I did was take my Expo marker and I wrote my word after. I wrote A, F, T, E, R. And then I had the word after, and then I wrote it again. A, F, T, E, R. And if you do not have any whiteboard markers at home, you can just use a pencil. And then I wrote it again. I wrote A, F, T, E, R. And I wrote it over and over and over again. You can also write it with your finger. Watch Ms. Strohmeyer. Write it over here with her finger. A, F, T, E, R. After. So when you find a tricky, tricky, tricky word in your book and you solve it like Ms. Strohmeyer solved after, you can spell it, A-F-T-E-R, after. You can read it, after, and then you can write it. And then the next time that you see that word, it's going to be a snap word. It's going to be a word in your brain that you already know. It's going to be a word that you know in a snap. Awesome job. I'm going to show you another word that I also saw in my books today. So let me erase... Let me get my letters. When you know this word, it's a really, really tricky one. When you know this word, I want you to t I want you to shout it out. When you know this word, this is a really tricky one because it doesn't look the same way that it sounds. It is a really, really tricky one. And after I solved this word. I found out that it was could. Read this word with me. Could. Read this word with me again. Could. Now I want you to spell it. C-O-U-L-D. Could. C-O-U-L-D. Could. C-O-U-L-D. Could. And now, just like last time, if you have a marker or you can finger write with your finger, you can write the word as many times as you can so that you can remember what this word looks like. And then the next time you come across this word, you will absolutely, positively, 100% be able to read it because you have written it so many times, you have spelled it so many times, and you know exactly what it says. You're not going to stop and you're not going to solve it again and again and again. You are going to make sure that you are a word detective that makes new snap words even if Ms. Strohmeyer doesn't teach them to you. So we had the word could, and we also had the word, what is this word now that you see it again? You should know it in a snap because you just learned it with me. That word is after, and this word is, you should know it in a snap already, could. After and could. So friends, when you are reading today, if you come across a tricky, tricky word, let's say you come across the word, the word here, this is not here, but I'm just telling you that the word that I have right here in front of me. Let's say you come across this word. It is not a snap word that we already know, but you can use your word detective skills to help you solve it. So we know that TH is a part that we know. TH says th, th, th or th, like thumb. W. 
e w e with this word is with and to be a word detective and do what mr bookman said you turn new words that you learn into snap words you can spell this word you can write this word and you can read this word over and over and over again before you move on so that you can read this word the next time in a snap. You do not have to wait for Ms. Strohmeyer to teach you new snap words. You can learn new ones all on your own. So remember, when you come to a tricky word, you're going to read it, you're going to spell it, and then you're going to write it with your finger, write it with a pencil on a piece of paper, or write it with a marker if you have a marker. And you're going to do that over and over and over again. Spell it as many times as you can, read it as many times as you can, and write it as many times as you can and you will be able to turn new words into snap words. I can't wait to hear about all of the awesome work that you guys do today as a word detective and remember you can turn new words into snap words without Ms. Strohmeyer's help. You can do it. I believe in you and I hope you have an awesome time reading. Right now you need to get your paper books, you need to get your online books, or you need to read for 30 minutes. You're going to set your timer, you're going to read for 30 minutes. And then after you finish reading for 30 minutes, you are going to get on Lexia. So please make sure you're doing everything you can to be an awesome word detective as you read today. I know Mr. Bookman is going to be so proud of you, and I am going to be so proud of you. I miss you guys already, and I will see you all tomorrow for mission number 10. Bye, friends.